Hello everybody, this is Atul from IT Codes. Now in our last lecture about creating your first Angular application, we created an application and we learned how the application loads using the selector which is inside your app component, the app root selector which was written in index.html and this was calling the component HTML. Now let's go further and understand the actual flow. Now as all application programs start with function named as main or file named as main. Over here also in angular we have a file named as main.ts. Now the first code which executes when your application runs is your main.ts file. Now in main.ts file you can see that it is written as bootstrap module and it calls the app module file. So, when the main.ts runs, it gives the control to app module.ts file. Now, it goes to app module.ts, which is written over here. Now, in this, you can see it is written as bootstrap app component. So, here the control passes to app component. Here the application comes to know that there is a component named as app component which I have to run. So the control goes to app component component file and when it goes to app component file you find here which is known as app root and that app root is being called in index.html. So the circle completes over here the main file calls app module. It goes inside app module. In app module, it has an array named as bootstrap. Now that bootstrap array refers your app component. So this tells your Angular to read the app component. So it comes and reads the app component file. In the app component file, it reads that it has a selector, it has a template URL and it has a style file. Now that selector is app root and app root is being called in index.html. So this was the first component which was being called by itself with your Angular application which was created with the application. Now we learn in this tutorial about how to create your own component. This was a predefined component but as we know that Angular consists of components. Now components are important key feature of Angular. Your entire application built is a composition of many components that will be you will be creating many components and the composition of all those components in all creates an application. Now for better understanding supposingly this is your application a base application which is having header area a navigation menu a article area a ads and a footer area. Now what angular works on is you can have a component for header you can have a component for navigation, you can have another component for article and you can have a component for ads. So in all this will be your entire application having many components integrated inside a single page application. So this is about components. So over here in our application we are having app component. The app component will be the root component of our entire application and the other components which we create will be nested inside your app component. So first of all how to create your own component. So for creating your own component you have a CLI command prompt. So we will be using that command line CLI to create your own component. For creating your component we can use a command inside your terminal window. So inside our terminal window, we will just write a command as ng and generate. Now the command ng generate, what it does? It has a capability when you say generate, it has a capability to create elements, create elements which will be used in your Angular application. So right now we are just creating components. This works with creating your services also. Now first of all, how to create a component? You just say ng generate component 
and I want to create a component named as menu. So I just say menu component. For shortcut, you can just type as ng g and c. So it will replace generate and create. So the short command would be ng g c and the component name. Just press enter. You will find create component and over here in your app you will be having an entire folder named as my component. So when you generate the component using the command line CLI, it will create a folder with the component name and you can see the structure. It is exactly same as the pre-build app component file. So over here in app component, you are having CSS, HTML, specs and the component TS. Yes. Same goes here. You have menu component, component CSS the HTML file, the specs file and the TS file. The specs file is used for testing that we will be not using over here right now, but we will be using this component TS file and the HTML file. Now, in the HTML, it is just written as menu component works. Now, how to call this particular component or run this component from our app component. So, this won't be executed directly from the index file. The index file is already having that element as app root. Now to call our menu component, first open the menu component file. You find here the selector which is predefined over here. So the selector is app menu component. The template URL is HTML file and the CSS file is defined over here. Now to call this particular component, we copy this and we go inside app component file in the app component file we already had done in the last lecture we uh, binded some values from the title and the number variable which was defined in the component file i want to call that component here so i just write the element as app component which is a selector of your app menu component which you created over here. So to execute the application, we create a new terminal and I just say ng ng serve. So it again bundles your application and it says successfully compiled. We go in the browser, we run the application. So this is our application which is running, which is having the entire component list over here. Now over here, you are having this app menu component written over here. I save the file. It says compile successfully. And you can see your component is called over So this was the first file which already was running and I just nested your component app menu component inside your app component file. So this is how you can create your own component and nest it inside the app component which will be the root component of our application and we can run it. If we hide the previous code. So I just comment it out so you can just better understand. So this is your component. Now whatever HTML you will be doing inside your menu component will be interpreted over here. Supposingly I say I remove the entire code. I save it, it compiles successfully and you can see the menu is running over here. So this is how you create your own component and you call it inside your app component. So app component right now is acting 
as the main layer for our all the components which we will be creating by ourselves. So, components basically allows us to do what? It allows us to divide your entire application into smaller, smaller parts. Those are known as components. The advantage of component is the reusability. Supposingly, you just want to see the usability and we can just write this same text again. So, I just defined it twice. App menu component. You see in the browser, it is called two times. So, the entire business logic which will be written inside your component will be repeated when you recall that particular component. And this is how component works inside your Angular application. In the next tutorials, we will be going further and writing code inside your components. And we will be learning about services and also the app module TS. Now, before ending the tutorial, just understand what actually happened inside your app module. Now, the app module in the first lecture, I also said that in this particular file, you have declarations, imports, providers and the bootstrap portion. Declaration contains the component names. Now, when you just created the component, this line got added automatically. In the declarations, it says that there is a component named as menu component, which has been created. And the import statement has the entire path to the particular component. So, it understands that when the application is loaded, I have to load this particular menu component. The providers will be using services that we will be learning later that how the services are called in the provider and the bootstrap as I said, when you say running the application, it will call the app component at the start. So, if this particular line is missing, you won't be able to load the component. You just have a check over here that when you create a component, the line gets added over here, the menu component and the declaration. Thank you. We will be giving more tutorials on Angular in future.